guys, it's April 1st. Uh, beaver season runs till the 10th, I believe. But I got a landowner that's been having problems with these beaver. Wanted me to get them out in the dead of winter, and we tried, but ice was so thick, and I just didn't really have the time to mess with it. I mean, we, tr we did try for a couple days, but couldn't get to where we wanted to be. And we're going to give it another shot. Water's opened up now. We've got two ponds. There's one here, obviously, and then there's one tucked back here in the bushes. Both have houses in them. I'm assuming that they'll be kicking their kits out here shortly if they haven't already. If you guys can't tell, it's snowing. It was 70, 68, 70 degrees yesterday. New York bipolar weather. Set this channel right here, and that channel there. You can see that there's no sliding up over that other pond. We're not allowed to catch otters. And by New York State law, we have to run our trigger eight inches to one side in these 330s to try and prevent from catching otters. Not sure how well that works, but that's what the state claims. Well, that's what's got to happen. Can't see that channel anymore. It's all mudded up. Right there. Oh, yeah. Let's keep right there. So for the people getting them to uh, trap and they're curious about trapping, why are you putting that into the channel? Well, you can tell with these channels where these beaver are working. It's like a deer trail, essentially. Same concept. They run the same routes. Enough to where they literally carve a channel in the bottom of the body of water. Beavers are very, very strong though. They always want to wire these traps off. They hit them with such force when the trap goes off, it'll either throw them or the beaver will throw the trap. Sometimes feet. Another rule. It's 330. Anything bigger than 7x7, seven seven, I believe, which would be like a 220, has to be totally submerged in water or in a bucket of some sort or something. That. These 330s have to be totally submerged. You're cross staking your 330s, always be sure to <coughs> use dead sticks as well. Because those beaver like to come up there and steal your sticks otherwise. Well, you want to break some of sticks off on it. The 
similar to a coyote trap, you don't want it to have any weeble or wobble to it. Some real arts and crafts. Just like that. Now, to make sure that they're not cruising with their nose above the water, you want to use like a big stick. To a big stick. Drop down. That's right. Drown what we call a drowning stick. Or a dive stick. Like that big hunk right there behind you. you Wanna go drag that limb over here, Ellie? Right here. Lay that across right here. That way just as they come to the trap, they just bloop right into it. Got a future trapper right here. And then we'll probably end up shining up a couple of these saplings back here to show the green. And then when they're out there working just before dark, they'll see that neon color and hopefully come investigate. Maybe a dash of caster back there. The thing about these pond beaver, not so much river beaver, I mean river beaver too, but these pond beaver, especially this time of year, you put a little bit of caster out, and they're so territorial. It's usually their demise. For, yep, yep. Now, if I heard this right, beavers make dams because they hate the sound of running water, right? Yeah, I'm not really sure what the whole goal is with that. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard. They back up water and kill a lot of timber. I've heard they hate the noise of running water. All right, there's that one. We're gonna put one in that channel, and then we're gonna go investigate. See what else we can find. How deep's that channel? Pretty deep. All right, so obviously this channel is pretty well deep. I mean, ground level right there is like two inches, and then right here it's about two feet. So this one we're probably going to set a little bit. They make those metal H stands for them and stuff, and that's cool. They work for the most part until you get an educated beaver that can recognize the smell of metal. This one we're going to do a little different. Just to keep it up off the bottom. Now that's gonna swing on there just like a little kid's swing set on that branch. So you still gotta cross stake it into the edges of this channel to keep it from doing that. The trap's gotta be stiff. There's that one. That's right in this main channel between the two ponds. That should be a dead beaver. There's Caster Mound right there. Oh, Caster Mound is a beaver mark in his territory. So, we got a couple footholds with us. We're probably going to slide them in somewhere and make our own Caster Mounds. See what happens. We'll scout a little bit more and set a few more traps. I felt something. Bear with me. Got the spring lever a little messed up. There we go. So here we just, it's a channel that goes right underneath this tree. And you can see up in here where they've been working. Snow's starting to cover things up. But they've yeah. got the ground all disturbed. Just chewing on these briars and whatever's sweet. Me a nice green sapling, Allie. A couple, well, I'm gonna need a couple sticks first. A couple dead sticks. Channel's a perfect 330 size. So I thought. Actually, narrower. As soon as it's black, right there. Have 
Ja, 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 premium. We shouldn't need a diving stick here because naturally they're already diving. Here, I need that. Bring it right here. That's alright. As long as I can get it in the mud. Now get yourself a nice green sap when it's shine up and put back here on the bank. If you ever got it made, they don't gotta buy a ring, they just gotta get a shiny stick. <laughs> well, hopefully they come okay. Hopefully they come after our shiny sticks here. What have I got going on here? Not ideal, but it should work. Just right there in this shrubs right here. You can just green those up, and that'll be fine. We'll do another cash around right here too. Make this colony a beaver. Think a whole other colony moved in right on top of them. On the side face in the water would be preferable. Silly man. Do it right here behind this, right in line with this trap. Yeah, right here. Yeah, shine them right up like that. So that will used to be a couple small apple trees by the looks of those little stumps. They're starting to head back out now. You ready? Yep. Pretty chilly ride, huh? Yeah. This whole lack of windshield here. Well, hopefully you get a couple. Right there. I'll have to reposition that. Just push that trap down in a little bit finer. There goes a pair of geese. Coyotes were in here checking out our horse last night. See that? Track right there. Just gotta push that trap right down. Be careful. Don't push right down on the top of the jaws. Just be, you gotta be careful. Let me do it. Yeah, I can hold on to that. It's still important. That's all you gotta do. Here. All right. Keep jamming. Another trap up here. That was good. 
this all right. Nothing in that one either. These ones over here in the main Trap's still set. We got over in that one. Really? So, Ali and I are up here checking these beaver traps that we set yesterday. And we come up to one of our sets and the trap was gone. Couldn't find it. Makes no sense. It was wired off. I know it was. I always wire every beaver set off. I happened to look up the bank and there laid the trap. Beaver in it. And I don't know what destroyed this animal, but... Something got here before we did this morning. Or late last night. Possibly. Viewer excretion advised, but this is what I got. About a 40 pound beaver, or was, totally ruined. But this trap lays 20 yards from where it was set, so, I mean, That was the O-ring, the metal O-ring on the end of the chain. Bent right out straight. Whatever animal it was that grabbed a hold of this thing, I'll look around the mud and stuff, see if I can find some more tracks. I mean, we just saw that big coyote track back there. If that's the case, I'll tell you what, next fall, we're giving these coyotes a hard way to go up here. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Totally ruined. Even ate some of the casters on it. Huh. Well, stay tuned, I guess. That's, that was our last trap for the day, but... Huh. Stay tuned. Another day of checking beaver traps. I'm not even sure what kind of ducks those are. We have to figure that out. I don't see those very often. What you got there, Ellie? Got a beaver. You got a beaver? Yep. It's a big old hole in the bank. It's not a house. It's just a big hole in the bank. It's just a run it goes right underneath this point and out that side over there. Where we had that coyote take the beaver yesterday, but we staked her down better today, so 
Can you get him out of there? It's the first beaver Alley's ever pulled out of the water. You right, step right down the channel. You got your waders on. Yeah, but I think I got a crack in it. Oh, you getting a wet foot? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, you need me to do it? Yep, save your sticks. That's all right, just set them off to the side. You got it that far, you should be able to grab the end of your wire. Take your glove off. Feel where the wire is, where it goes to the chain. There you go. It's all right, pull it right up off that stick if you got to. Suitcasing. <laughs> we got there another 35, 40 pounder. Yep. All right. Well, we'll get him out of the trap and get a reset. Now. Smash two of the beaver in the same spot. Pretty cool. Would have been handy if we'd have brought them county bear setters, huh? Yeah. We might have one more because we got a trap over there that so we got to get. Check. How many did we catch today? Zero. What's the status? What happened? Well, obviously they're not moving. Oh. All right, guys. So we're here with this uh, with the problem beaver ponds, and uh, we caught two beaver. See no fresh sign. We're going in to check them now. We're going to pull and be done with it. We're supposed to get a couple inches of rain between tonight and tomorrow anyway. So it is what it is. Pretty sure it must be there was only a pair in here. I don't expect to have anything today. If we do, I guess it's a bonus. But I haven't seen any sign, anything fresh. So calling it good.